What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, another very exciting Samsung video. Today we have more news on the Galaxy S23 and S23 Ultra. Not all of it is good news, but some of it is pretty interesting and exciting. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Before I do, I wanna remind you guys, if you are ordering a Galaxy S23 Ultra, my mystery boxes, which are 100% free, $0 right there, you see it on my website, comes out with a free case, a free cleaning kit, and also comes with a free stand from my friends at Lamical. This is the Lamical folding stand right there. It's a nice feat. Put your phone on your desktop, folds up, put it in your bag. I love those stands. And uh, other goodies like randomly inserted app codes, gift cards, uh, some of my favorite wallpaper packs and icon packs. Really excited about that. So check out the link. I'm also gonna have a referral program. If you know someone who's ordering an S23 or S23 Ultra uh, and you're not doing it yourself, you can refer them. If they purchase one through my program, you can also get a free mystery gift. So I'm super, super excited about getting people on board with that. So you guys can get some cool gifts just by referring your friends and they get some free stuff for free as well. So with that being said, let's talk about the leaks. The leaks as usual come from our friend Ice Universe on Twitter, who is a renowned Samsung leaker. As I've said before, he's not necessarily the biggest Samsung fan because he's often critical of their lack of innovation lately, but we can talk about a few things that he's tweeted recently. The first one's a very cryptic tweet. He says, the S23 Ultra camera can surprise us in at least three ways. And he didn't really respond to anyone about what the three ways are, because I looked through the replies quite a lot. He's already revealed two of these ways, which I talked about in my previous video, which was better low light and also better zoom capability. So you would think, or you would hope, that perhaps the third way would be something to do with video. Because in my opinion, Samsung is still behind Apple in only one key way, and that is video recording capability. They are definitely not the best when it comes to video quality, and they could really step that up on the S23 Ultra, and it would be much appreciated. So that would hopefully be the third thing. We'll have to see what happens at the end of the day. Maybe they bring some really, really crispy 8K recording to the S23 Ultra. Next, he tweeted out a render and said, if this is the S23, do you like it? Obviously we can see he's talking about the regular S23 and not the ultra model. You can see it's shown in some blue colorway here. This is obviously a concept, which you can see here in the bottom right-hand corner right there. But it looks very similar to the regular S22, aside from the fact that it looks like it has a glossy back instead of a matte back, which I would actually be against. I'm not a huge fan of that. Otherwise, I think the phone looks good because I don't have a problem with the S22 design, but I definitely would not like to see a glossy versus matte back. The matte back on my green regular S22 is something I really like about it and something I like about the S22 series as a whole. Let me know what you guys think about that though. And then perhaps one of the more interesting things is this. That is the curvature of the S23 Ultra's middle frame looks square. For comparison, the S22 Ultra's middle frame curve is rounder. Here's the picture that kind of shows you the difference. You can kind of see it's more square versus more round on the S22. And here you can actually see, which I tweeted out this picture before, the S22 Ultra has a much larger curvature, whereas the S23 Ultra is much more squared off here in terms of its curvature on the sides. You also see he tweeted out, I personally, so to give my comments on this, I like the more square form factor. I think like a lot of you, I would actually prefer they go back to completely flat sides. That's my personal opinion. I prefer completely flat sides on a flagship candy bar style phone, but the curved sides don't bother me so much. I would certainly prefer they be more squared like this if you're gonna have them. He then tweeted 34200 versus 34450. Obviously, you can see he's talking about the aforementioned 200 megapixel sensor on the S23 Ultra, which will also shoot in 50 as well. He's mentioned that before. And then there's one other new thing, which he just tweeted out today that I'm uh, not too happy about. I don't think anyone will be. This is not about the Ultra, but someone else tweeted, apparently the slightly thicker bezel on the regular S23 might also cut out the vibration motor quality. Obviously this would be terrible. One of the things that Samsung has gotten really good at in my personal opinion is haptic feedback and the vibration motor particularly on the flagship Ultra models, but also my Galaxy S23 that I have at home. I use it a lot at night in bed because it's a smaller device. Also when I go running or exercising, 
It also has a really good vibration motor. I think it would be a real shame and a real mistake on their part to not you know, have a, the top end vibration motor in the regular S23. So, so far that's pretty much what we're hearing about the S23 Ultra. There's also a leak that claimed that the Ultra will launch on February 4th at an unpacked event. That seems a lot more likely. Previously, some people were talking about January. I don't see January, like the first week of January, being the launch of the S23 Ultra. I, that, that's very unlikely based on past patterns. Also, CES is during that time, and it's also right after the New Year. So I just don't see that, but we could. So let me know what you guys think about the release timeline. Again, if you are ordering, please check out the mystery box. I love doing these for the community. Uh, if you want to refer a friend, I'll have that program open soon. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.